Hey guys, in today's video we have some paper clay and we're gonna be doing some crafts. So, yeah, and we got some more clay right here. Why didn't you eat lunch? Just in case we need it. This is very hard clay. I don't it's not suggest this clay, but yeah. We are going to be crafting. So all you need to do is make a little mountain. My ear got itchy, sorry guys. Make a little mountain any way you want. You can do some details if you'd like. No. How many? Two. Oh, okay, I got it. Or you can just turn it into a unicorn horn, a mountain or a unicorn horn. It's your choice. But I'm going with the unicorn horn. You need to watch the second video if you want to know how to make the mountain one. There you go, you have the line for the unicorn horn. And now you're going to place it on your workspace and you're going to flatten it down. <coughs> to a stop where it's like this. And all you need to do is take the bottom of your utensil and stick it in the middle. Go straight down, not touching the bottom, just a little bit. Oh. Play, no. We got going through the bottom. Little tiny hole. There we go. Place it down and make lines. like this. Make tiny lines forcing a sun around your tiny circle. And then start um, flattening it down. And taking your rolling pin and rolling it out. Putting it upside down. Rolling it till it's around your stick like this, and slowly peel it off. Okay, tomorrow you have to get up early, because I have to leave the house open, so it's going to be open the door immediately, okay? Okay. And yep, get on the rolling pin, and off. you'll have it like this. And then get a piece, a tiny ball, any size, but it can't be bigger than your clay that you're using. And slowly add about four. It could be any size, I suggest medium. Wrap it like this. Then fold it over. And then you got it go. And then you close up the sides. Pinch the sides. 
Bring them in and roll it into a ball. And then take a piece of clay and make it go into a line. Not done yet. You play with what you got because the rest of this is for planters. Nothing, it can't stay out in the air. And then you make a handle. Got to stay in the foil, in the dark, until we make planters and put it in the oven. No knife. I'm not using it. What are you looking for? All right, where did I put the bag? You have a toy knife. No, you're not using that sharp knife. Yeah, I'm just leaving over here. And you... Ooh, you're making me pizza? Mm -hmm. And they can give us a ruler to measure stuff to cut. What do you mean? Here's a ruler. I never saw it. Huh? Yeah, we have to measure stuff. I have to read the directions, so we can't do it until down. I read the directions. And then you cut it right on the side. Uncle Joe said he was going to eat your pizza. Now! How was school today? It was good. Yeah? Yeah. Are you getting help yet with math? Nope. Make this little stick and you put it right, on so tomorrow's the jam. handle. And it's going to be raining when you get on the bus, so I'm going to give you an, um... It's also going to be movie day, you know that. Yes, I know it's movie okay, day. Okay, guys, present to you, um, I'm going to movies tomorrow. We're in the future then. Yeah, then it would be yesterday or a couple days later. Yeah. And you're going to take your knife again. Any kind of knife. Sharp. Ooh. Then you're going to take a tool like this and make a line. Okay. And you'll have the results of this. Rolling it again and roll it. Roll it into a thin, thin line. And pick it up like this and Curl it up. And turn it into a ball. And put your fingerprints of a thumb down into it. Thumb. It could be your baby sister's thumb, but wash their thumb right after. And all you're going to do is do a little tapping on the little fingerprint, the index, and then put your finger in again, doing some stoning details. Showing that this is actually stone, but it's not just glass. This clay is into glass. Press your thumb again if you have a crack on it after fixing it. Make little, little decorations. little dotting and little scarring around it. Our 
pressure them again. I guess if it doesn't go on, it's still hot. Yeah. And continue scarring. Even do the bottom, because then, you know. And that's for what? Okay. Stone. I left it on So y'all can't pick this up. All right, let's see what this box says. Since I waited for you to get home to open it, you could have waited for me. But not. Make little tiny. Oh, no, Make one little tiny cut right there. And then take a rolling pin and flatten out some parts. Don't go too hard. Take a back of a knife and flip it over. Just start smoothing it out. And then take, don't take out the knife. I'm curious this time, guys. But take, take the top part of the knife. Don't get to work now. And flatten it out. Put barbecue lines on it. And now, kids, this is sharp. Press your thumb again. And then redo it all over again. Thumb in the ball. If it starts to become hard, put some water into it and start mixing around. It will become soft, but sometimes it will not, and it will stick to your fingers. It'll kind of start to feel like slime, rippy slime. But take your model into and just form it into whatever you want. No, Kaylee! This is a video on how to do it! But yeah, like I said, this is a unicorn. This is a unicorn themed. So start making a unicorn horn and smashing it. You guys like, Haley, why is there so many steps? <coughs> and we're destroying what we already made. Well, I'm just making this up as I go. I'm just thinking this will work. Because I never had a crafting YouTube channel. I don't really know what to do. And play packs? Get those, but not much. Now don't take the paper off of any kind of knife. And slowly go down. Cutting it into halves. And then rolling it. And then model what kind of unicorn thing or what you like. And then you could Bake it and then paint it. I'm going to make a clay necklace charm. So you're going to have a little thin thing. going to cup it and make a little clothes. 
with a little opening and take some clay and make a little pearl. Don't attach the pearl to the surface yet. Slightly blow on it and attach it into the little mouth of your little seashell and this is what it should come out like. And if you don't like it, try something else. I am thinking about a diamond jewel. Just making a circle. This big boy about to go to school, the little one stays home. The little one, one even asks. Here's your rolling tin pin to flatten it out and then turn it into a stick. Because that's what you need to make this girly necklace. start to turn it into an actual stick. It will be a burrito, but then you'll stick it up. Alright guys, I know you can do this. And slightly just make a move. She goes, you just wait a little bit, but it just might be on the hot side a little bit. Is your napkin? Make a move. Right here. Peach is a little hot, there's your water, right? Alright. Alright, Change can be fat, so make a big, big, big chain holder. Attach it to your moon necklace. And slowly make a big hole. some clay to attach those two parts together. Make sure you don't wreck your hole. Did you decide what you're wearing on our date tomorrow? Yeah. What are you wearing? The easy thing. Okay. And there you go, you have your necklace. Mine didn't come out good and yours might fall apart, just like mine, but hey guys, today's video is over. Hope you subscribe, hit the like button, and so then, get down and dirty. Make sure you wash your hands right after doing this, and don't do this with a four-year-old, five-year-old. No. I suggest seven or six and higher. Because this is going to be too dangerous for many kids. But don't let them eat your the stuff you're using. Ooh, and there might be poison in this stuff. So don't ever.
like don't ever. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Goodbye and please don't eat any clay.